Johnstein, what do you think people have been talking about this week? I don't really talk to people. <laughs> tend to move away when we I... We put two girls on your team this week because we thought it would force you to talk to girls. OK. Hey! Oh, all right, John. Yeah. <laughs> girls. Done. <laughs> 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 uh, what about uh, Tesco saying that we're throwing away... Is it two-thirds of our food oh, that we phenomenal. buy? So much wasted food. Yeah, well, specifically, it's the bagged salad. They reckon two-thirds of it goes in the bin. Tess, do you waste any food? Well, I try not to, but, yeah, hands up. I'm guilty of occasionally throwing away a bag of salad that's gone past its sell by date. You've got kids, give it to them. Well, I, I do. <laughs> whatever <laughs> whatever what you can. and Vernon don't have, I, throw I, to them. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's not them, it's the dog, but occasionally you do find yourself throwing stuff away, don't you? The thing is the labelling, isn't it? Because they say bag, salad, mixed leaves, but actually it's not, that's not accurate, is it? It should be mixed leaves, stroke, compost. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically buying a bag of compost. Because sometimes, you know, it's gone off by the time you've got it home. <laughs> I go through red lights just to get the food home. <laughs> 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 I'm a picnic in the car park. <laughs> I think there's a smell test. Well, we all believe the best before day, just give it a sniff. If you're not sick in your mouth, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. It seems like a lot of waste, two-thirds of everything you eat, but I thought about it, it's true, cos I've got an example of, like, if I'm eating a packet of three Scotch eggs, I'll eat one and throw the other two at cyclists. You've really put that in terms everyone can relate to. <laughs> <laughs> I waste so little. I went on holiday and took some Nurofen, because you can never be too prepared on a holiday, can you? No, John. And when I got back, I saw that one of the Nurofen had popped out of the little uh, metal thing they're in, and I didn't want to waste it, so I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even have a headache. Just thought, I'm not putting that in the bin. Then I had to get shit-faced just to get the benefit out of it. <laughs> I hate food waste. I think it's the worst thing in the world. I'd eat things off the floor just to make sure there's no waste. <laughs> I also hate mice. And one time, my flatmate, to catch a mice for me while I was asleep, left some peanut butter by the toaster with rat poison on it <laughs> and a spoon. <laughs> and I came downstairs the next morning and was like, oh, waste not, want not, oh, oh. I had to go to hospital and get my stomach pumped. <laughs> it shows how much I hate food waste and also how easy I'd be to trap. Uh, <laughs> but it's... <laughs> Christian, do you waste food? I do waste food. I'm really bad. I'm a bit obsessive about the dates. So I'm always the one who, who looks at the date and it says it runs out on the 23rd, so I can't eat it. Because if it's off, then I might want to be sick or something. So, Christian, um... you've been reading the news and all these stories about, you know, conspiracies too long. <laughs> <laughs> years ago, there was a flood in Honduras and a woman was in a tree giving birth to a baby. A helicopter came along and pulled her out of the tree as she gave birth to the baby and she was put into the helicopter with the umbilical cord still attached and they both survived. Your bag salad isn't going to kill you. <laughs> I feel that story might have been a sledgehammer to crack yeah. a nut there, really. <laughs> there was a helicopter and a flood in Honduras to get him to eat some salad. A bad bag of salad might make you rush the news, won't it? Well, I've, got a, very, bit, I've, I've got a weak stomach, and reading the news on a weak stomach is not good. No. No. My sister once had to throw up... She's a newsreader as well, and she had to throw up in between the stories. So she would do an intro and then get... <laughs> and then carry on, you know. Was it a particularly gory story? There was, no... <laughs> there was nobody to relieve her. Madonna has a new video out where she tries to be sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, do you read the best before dates? Do you, do you adhere to them? No, no. Oh. I've, got, I've got pesto in my fridge <laughs> that, that Assad wouldn't fire at insurgents. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even monkey, so I'm fine. I've got, I've got a cast iron stomach. Yeah. The problem is, we have a generation growing up now who have never seen Ready Steady Cook. <coughs> so they don't know how to make a meal out of a Mars bar, a red pepper and a stock cube. <laughs> <laughs> so they open the cupboards and everything's a meal anyway, and they just go, oh, I've got nothing in. Ainsley Harriet would have turned that into a gourmet feast and been delightful company in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> OK, let's have a look and see what's up there.
Yes, Tesco has revealed the extent of food wastage in the country. According to the survey, 53% of food in this country goes to waste. The rest goes to hips and bums. Right, girls? <laughs>